Debbie's one example, and I'll give another example of, of what we call don't repeat yourself. So we were doing use, so this is vitally important, and I used to bang on to Google about this all the time, is that user testing with these people is an advantage. If you create and make something that anyone can use, then everyone can use it, and it opens up a big, bigger sector. So don't use the testing with people, anxiety, um, people on the spectrum. And they were turning around and saying, the sharing information is really traumatic. And we experienced this with universal credit, is that you have to share information like things that have happened to you, mistakes you have made, right? Continually, again and again and again, because organizations don't share data because of GDPR and lots of different things. So you have to do it again and again and again. And it's traumatizing, right? So we created this using what's called Web3, which is another brand new technology. But this data does not reside on our servers, it is on, on their phone, okay? And when an organization asks them um, uh, for some information, name, where they live, and things like this, little side note, okay? Forms that have address, can we stop that? That's unethical. 12 million people don't have one, okay. right? So it's one of the things where we turn around and we report back to tech, stop putting address down, okay? It excludes people. It's a very exclusionary term, but anyway. So if an, once uh, one organization... So what the system we set up was an organization can put a, a question set, not a form. The collection of data has become more important than ever, and we've made it the worst experience with the use of forms. Our job is to get rid of forms. So we have a question, question set, organization question set. They then turn around to the user and say, oh, here's a code or a link. Can you click that or even scan a QR code? Like you've seen people with their phones scan a QR code. And then that person gets a request to share some information first name, last name, where they live, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. If they've never done it before, they then fill it in once. The question set, and that's something I, I've got to say, is that not only are you got a set of questions, you've got to put in there that organization from government, charity, whatever, the reason why they're asking for this information. Mm -hmm. So the person gets a request to come in on their phone, right, by putting a code in. They then get who they're going to be sharing it with and why. So that's a request. If you've never shared it before, you never inputted this in before, like name or address, you put it in. You then say, okay, and then it goes back up to the organization. You then have an audit trail saying when you shared it, why you shared it, right? So therefore, you've always known when your data and exactly what was shared. So if an organization said you never gave us this, you tell us, oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. Right? Oh, yes, I did. Now, the next organization comes along and turns around and says, oh, we need this information. And you go, great, you go to it. Those questions have already been answered. And you turn around and go, this is the reason why they want it. Did you want it? Fine, okay. So you don't have to repeat yourself. Now, this data stays on your phone, right? Okay. But not, so in the cloud, I'm going to be a little bit techy here, but cryptographically, there's nodes, right? It's called Web3, which means that no one can ever, I can't see it in, in, in on a server. Even if China or the FBI wanted to try and break it, they couldn't. It's impossible to break. Only you, with what's called a key, will be able to see it. Okay? Okay. No one else will be able to see it. But it just makes sure the fact that we can transfer the information. But you'll be able to then see how, why, and when you shared exactly what data and when you shared it. And you don't have to do it again. Wow. Okay. It's ideas like that. And get it. And, and Because there's a line I give. Organizations can't share data, but they can share questions. Mm. See. Right now, as an organisation, there's a huge like administration in order to do forms and things like this. Get rid of that massive lowering of costs. Organisations would spend a lot of money to have, have that. The end user doesn't get charged a bit. And if you've got anxiety or you're on scale or lots of different things, it actually is better for you. So one of the first early uses use cases we got is in the new year, people with Parkinson's. They have a hard time sharing information. Okay. They try and put in the form. So the, the users with them can put this information in and they can go along to this event and just have a code, share it, right, and have the information shared. And that can be even like health data, yes. right? Because it's not being stored in our servers, we don't need to worry. Yeah. It's on their devices and they're in control. Okay. So it's thinking like <coughs> that. By doing user testing with people of anxiety, you create an amazing product. But the tech companies and the organizations don't do that. They go... They don't know. It's all right. You know, we, we'll decide what's what's best for them. Yeah. They know what's best for them, and they're adding value because of it. And we're going to show that 
in a couple of days' time. The people we did that user testing did that. I'm going back and saying, look, you said this is what you wanted. We've built it for you. Wow.